did an article on our website about Wilbert Hamilton, the fake Green Beret, and after the article posted, a number of people started reaching out to him on social media, and he was given our phone number and decided to call us. Well, during the phone call, his ridiculous lie says somebody hacked into his account a year ago and started posting all these pictures to ruin him and he reached out to the FBI and Facebook with no luck but at the time we pointed out that a picture from him was posted in 2016 and he could not explain that when we were uploading pictures for this phone call that we have of him we see him claiming special forces all the way back in one in 2014 and another in 2012 so he's been doing this for over 10 years and he's trying to blame it on some mysterious non-existent drill sergeant that has a vendetta against him so it's pure poppycock but here's the phone call with him trying to place the blame on somebody else as opposed to coming clean manning up admitting his lie and asking God for forgiveness, being the pastor or preacher or apostle or bishop or whatever the hell he is. All right, out here. Hello? Hello. Is this Bishop William Hamilton or Will ha Wilbert Hamilton? Wilbert Wil Wil Hamilton, yes it is. Yeah, this is Guardians of the Green Beret. Yes, sir. Yeah. So what do you got going on? Uh, I got a situation that happened to me that... Um, has caused me to get in some serious trouble, and uh, I'm going to explain to you what happened. Uh, I served uh, up from uh, 1981 to 2004. Uh, while I was on the trail, I had a fellow drill sergeant and a fraternity brother of mine got in some trouble. Uh, allegations of uh, training abuse and other things. And long story short, he asked me to testify as court martial as a character witness, and I refused. Fast forward to 20 years later, this man has gone on Facebook, and he has gained access to, I have two pages, he has gained access to one of my pages, and implanted some of the most ridiculous stuff on there, up to and including pictures of me, with a Green Beret tattoo on, and I have a Superman tattoo on this arm, I can just send you the picture right now. No, 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 once seen, it cannot be unseen. I don't want to see a Superman tattoo on your arm. Okay. <laughs> so, 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 this man has sought out, and this happened last year. This man sought out to destroy me. He put this stuff all over Facebook. I was crucified for about two and a half months. It has affected my personal life and my ministry. Even with some pictures about a, uh, 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 what somebody told me was called Photoshop, which I don't have, I don't even know how to utilize yeah. it. Uh, pictures of my face on top of a, a, a a special forces soldier who has died in combat. Yeah. I have nothing to do with this. I have problems trying to track this man down. I've contacted the, th the authorities yeah. uh, to try to get what? this stop. And it happened over a year ago. What was it his was name? Something I did. His name was Anthony Rocket. Yep. Okay, now, question. Is the only thing he did was gain access to your Facebook and try and get you that way? Get so far. Cause okay. okay. What he did was he implanted a whole... He implanted a whole bunch of false information. Now, the bad part about it is, I don't even have access to that page no more. Yeah. Somehow, he has changed my login and my password. Well, you I know, contacted Facebook. But you know why I say that? So, the only thing he gained was access to your Facebook. Yes, sir. Okay. Well, we have your official records, all right? Mm -hmm. And your official records has a 2-1 in it, where, where you doctored your 2-1 or paid somebody to doctor your 2-1. And it shows, Sorry. are you familiar with ATARs? Your 2-1 could say anything at once, okay? Especially in the Guard and the Reserve, you have your buddy type something up for you, or you do it yourself. But you can't do that in ATARs, okay? We check your ATARs. Everything that you have, your Airborne, Air Assault, PLDC, BNOC, your EIB, 11, you know, a lot of this stuff is so wrong to Airborne, two weeks. E e EIB, 2.5 weeks, German Airborne. You know, this is on your 2-1. Somebody put this on there. This is the man that did it. This is what I'm telling you because I don't even know what a 2-1 is. It's 
spent years in, in, the, in the field artillery. I don't know what a 2-1 is, and this is what I'm telling you. I was told by a gentleman named Brian to give you guys a call yeah. and try to explain this to you. And right. when this happened last year. Yeah. I was crucified for this. The on compare, it even affected my ministry because I had a church pull out from underneath me because they believed it. Yeah. But I had nothing to do with this, and that's all I'm calling you to explain. Right. I guess he was from a special forces. He told me to call. And I'm, this is what I'm explaining yeah. to you. I had nothing to do with this. Like I said, I have the federal authorities trying to track this man down. I've contacted Facebook, and Facebook won't do nothing because there's nobody at Facebook to talk to unless you have a business account. Yeah. So my life has been has been turned upside down by this individual. But I'm letting you know what happened in the Lord's church. What happened in drill sergeant school? Your 1059 from Joe Sergeant is so heavily redacted. And usually that is when there's derogatory information being posted about you. Your performance summary is totally redacted. Usually they don't redact that when you're going above and beyond and making all the marks. Okay, I don't understand what redactive is. I don't under, I Redact, don't understand. It, they blacken it out. If, it, if it's derogatory information, they blacken it out. And the entire your entire performance summary at drill sergeant school is blackened out. Like you didn't make it or I something. Don't know how, I don't know how that is. I don't know why that is. And again, all, all I know is my life has been turned up, down, and ruined by this individual. Yeah. And I'm, I've got everybody, in the, including the federal authorities, trying to track this individual down. But my only reason for calling you is to let you know I did not... This, some, somebody put a, put a photo up on one of my... A ministry uh, people's page with me with this ridiculous hey. tattoo on my arm, and I don't have that tattoo on my arm. Right. Hey, I did, didn't do this. When you were in voca vocational school, what was that? GM Wright? JM Wright. Yeah, JM Wright. When did you go to vocational school? 19, uh, from 70, 77 to 80. Yeah, to eight, correct, uh, correct. And then, and then uh, Boston College for Electrical Engineering a year. For one year, but I dropped yeah. out. Yeah. How would that guy know about that? Listen, I don't know. There's, there's so much stuff in my, in, in my I, like I said, I don't know how this person got even got access to my cotton picking page. But this is ridiculous because a lot of my stuff that I had on my page, I, I, I didn't even, uh, like my second page, I have absolutely nothing from the military on my second page. I didn't have nothing on my, on my first page from the military until... This oh, wait, wait a, wait a minute. Wait, wait, hey, give me two seconds. Your first, I can't find your first page anymore. Uh, where we got... Facebook locked it out. Yeah, okay, but this is actually from your first page back ju uh, January 5th of two years ago. I am a man of God yes. who's from Grenada to Panama to Desert Storm to Iraqi Freedom to Mogadishu. You didn't serve any of that, and that was you... I never said that, sir. You're not listening to me. And again, uh, my only reason for calling was to let you know. I didn't put any of that on my page. I'm telling you I didn't. And right. I'm, I don't know how else to explain that to you. Again, I'm, I'm, I'm at the point now where I'm just totally frustrated because this man has ruined my life. Yeah, well, I could, totally my life. I could find him if you want. We found you. But why would he create all these fake documents? Because exactly what happened, the people came after me and they crucified me. Okay, I wait a minute, hey, hey. Months, well, hold on, hold yeah, on. Yeah. For three and a half months, all I got was persecution yeah. and, and people dragging my name through the mud. Hey, I answered. And, I, and like I said, it cost me a church. Hey, Wilbur, in 2016, I'm looking at a picture from you, 2016, he didn't gain access to your Facebook five years ago. You said it was last year. Five years ago, there's a picture of you wearing a mask with a Special Forces hat on, airborne wings, senior parachutist badge, a Special Forces lapel pin with a Special Forces tab, and air assault badge, and a scuba bubble. That was before you said he gained, that was before you said he gained access. So, would a man of God knowingly Bear false witness right now. It's me and you. What I am right now is just frustrated and angry well, because again, this thing happened. This thing happened almost a year and a half. It's resurfacing and it's angering me because I, I have, I have, I, I've come to Facebook. 
Well, I could he understand. sent me a cynical message. He sent me a cynical message explaining to me what he did. I came to Facebook and did a vi Facebook video live. Yeah. I explained what happened. I apologized to the people that were offended by this. Now and I'm telling you, but how did, I didn't do this. If he did this a year ago, how do you explain the dated picture? Okay, no, 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 no. I'm not saying it's not on there. I'm telling you, no, sir. I did not put that on my page. So somebody else act your page seven years ago? Because this, this was... I don't, he, he, what he explained to me was he was he was waiting for the right time to get this started. I don't know how long ago he started this. But, and it's not even important to me because my thing was this. I came to Facebook. Yeah. I explained what happened. And I apologized to everyone that was offended by this. Because if it hurt anyone, it hurt me. I, Why would I... Well, hold on. Because, because I, want to, I want you to hear this. Why would I knowingly put, put stuff like that on Facebook knowing that there are people out there that served in these units, well, served in these elites, and they know who was in there and they know who wasn't. Well, first of all, I would not, I would not bring down the, uh, bring that kind of approach on special forces or to myself. But you, you, but you just that, asked that me, happened. you asked me a question. Why would somebody do that? If we knew the answer, they wouldn't do that. Have you been to our website and seen all? No, I, you're on our website. I don't know nothing about your website. I don't know nothing about you. Well, I'm I'm, I'm going to ask you this because I'm I'm about fed up to I'm about fed up to hear with this. Yeah. And then, like I said, it was nothing. It was nothing being said about this for all. Hey, can I can I ask you a question? Me. How do you explain that stuff? This stuff is dated before he hacked in. What you say he hacked into your account? Sir, I don't know what happened seven years ago. I wasn't even listen when it came to my pictures. When it comes to my pictures on my Facebook page, yeah. what I do is. I don't worry about pictures on my Facebook page because number one, if I don't put if I put them on there, I know they're there. But I don't worry about going through my pictures. I don't. I don't know. Like I said, this all surfaced a year and a half, two years ago. Yeah. This all surfaced because the attack came out of nowhere. We hear the same thing every single time. It wasn't me. I was hacked. It was somebody else. All we can do is. Go by with what you say. We could write that, add that to the article. I could get what you sent, uh, Brian, and add that to the article and say, hey, th this guy claims it wasn't him. And then what would a reasonable man believe? What about all the communication you had in the drill sergeant's forum? I'm a retired E-8 master sergeant who was on the trail at Fort Sill. This is dated. This is Will Hamilton, Army a U.S. Army drill sergeant forum, and you're asking help with squaring away your uniform. That's how this whole thing got started, sir. Yep. That's how this whole thing got started. You're right. That's how this whole thing got started. All of my uniforms, all of my military work, everything I own personally was destroyed in a home fire. I have never even well, that, it, and I don't yeah. own a pair of dress blues. The uniform, I, I think the uniform you're talking about isn't your uniform. You photoshopped the head on top of a SF brother. You said I did. I didn't do it. No, no. I'm talking about how this whole incident got started yeah. about, about squaring away some ribbons on a, a dress blues. That's how this whole thing got started. Listen to me. It was brought to my attention when I first when it was first brought to me that, right. that you're not even in SF. And I was explaining to them, so why are you asking us about dress blues? I'm explaining to them yeah, I never even sent the message. Yeah. But, you didn't have to tell me. It was brought to my attention. Yeah. That's what I'm telling my, you. Let's circle back to your 2-1, <sighs> your two dash one, okay, that is all false, that we got from NPRC, okay? Nobody sees that. He would have no reason to, one, that's created when you ETS, Okay. So, he could not alter or type. This was created way back in 1995. He wouldn't have the capability. In fact, we can't get this changed. The only person that can change this is you. So, he did not do this. He does not have the power to change your records at NPRC. You're telling me about something that I don't even have access. I just asked you what the Hello Jesus A 2 1 was. I don't even know what a 2 1 is, sir. I didn't do it. Who added this to your 2 1? Oh, my God. Listen. 
I, I, I called and, and tried to explain this to you, but yeah. it just seems like nobody wants to believe me. And if, that, if that's the case, I want people to just stay off my Facebook page and this foolishness because I didn't do this. Well, you can't get people to understand it. Apparently, Mr. Rocket has succeeded in what he wanted to do. Yep. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm angry, but I can't, there's nothing I can do because I can't locate him. I even reported this to the cybersecurity at the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Right. Now, they claim that there was supposed to be some kind of a trace of, uh, not a, uh, what do they call that? Um, Oh, God, I can't get the word in my mouth, and I'm so frustrated. Some type of, uh, it's not a land what the heck is it? You are an animal, or something like, something to that nature. But I have not heard back from them in over a year and a half. Yeah, do you have the email that you sent them? I don't know, I have to go through my, my email. Well, that would go far. Do you have the message that you sent Facebook that said your account was hacked? Do you have those that were dated a year ago? I don't know if you want to, you, our email... Is contact at guardians of the .com. It's too easy. It's just like our website. Contact at guardians of the .com. I don't know if you want to try and look for that FBI dated uh, a year ago or Facebook a year ago, or is that just the fabrication to make your story sound better? That's up to you. But what we'll do is. Brian does have a statement from you. Do you want to email that, or do you want me to just get it from Brian and add that to I'll the... I'll email it to you. So let me ask you this question, just out of curiosity. But you're claiming to me that he, this gentleman, would have no records. No, no way of getting into my 2-1. If he doesn't have any, any uh, capability, how did y'all supposed to get a copy of my 2-1? It's called the Freedom of Information Act. Okay, so it's called... What's the... What's no Contact at guardians of the .com. When you go to our website and look at the article, you're probably going to get a little bit salty because we're not kind to guys that pretend to be one of us. This is ridiculous. Well, you know what? You could almost. Here's, here's my thing. Here's my thing. Yeah. If I was guilty in the least bit, why would I be on the phone with you? If I was guilty, I wouldn't care what you thought. Well, yeah, you do. You're trying to That's talk. Thing about it. You're trying to talk. You're you're trying to do damage control. See this? No, no, because I didn't know nothing about you. I'm not trying to do damage or anything. This is ridiculous. I'm going. To, I'm just going to send you. I'm going to send you the, the the message. And all and all and all I'm asking folks is just stay off my Facebook page. Well, you. It's, it's, I didn't do this. I didn't do this. Hey, and this is not right for y'all attacking me like this. I know I didn't do this. All right. Well, that's what they all say. So, okay, sir. Listen, I'm going to end this conversation because right. I, I don't, I, I don't appreciate the way this this is turning. I'm not gonna get upset about this. I'm just going to send the information that you asked me to send to you. All right, sounds okay. good. Okay. All right, sounds good. Hey, Have I appreciate. Yeah, appreciate the call out here. Mm -hmm.